and welcome back to Theme Park Central, the channel takes the centre of everything to do with theme parks. Now for today, I'm going to be counting down my top 10 favourite rides at the Alton Towers Resort. Now for those of you who don't know, Alton Towers is a theme park and resort located in Staffordshire here in the UK and it is home to a wide variety of attractions such as uh, Oblivion, Wicker Man, 13 and the Smiler, but to name a few. Uh, now, as I mentioned, I'm going to be counting down my top 10 favourite rides. Uh, if you have a list that differs to mine, uh, please put it in the comments down below and I'd love to hear your thoughts. So without further ado, let's get straight into this at number 10, uh, which we have Rita. Now, Rita is an Intamin launch coaster uh, that's located in the dark forest area at the back of the park and it opened back in 2005. Now, the main reason why I've put Rita so low on this list uh, is mostly because I just find it really rough. Um, it's not a very enjoyable attraction for me to go on uh, because I always find it just really rough and uncomfortable to ride. Uh, and there are many other attractions that I'd rather do. It's a real shame, really, because launch coasters have just progressed so much in the past 15 years with the likes of the Velocicoaster at Universal Islands of Adventure and Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. We just have so many better launch coasters than we did back in 2005. And the need for a coaster like Rita has pretty much become obsolete, you know. It's not a very unique attraction, there's nothing to make it really stand out. And it just seems quite boring and very rough and uh, unnecessarily uncomfortable for me and so that is why it's at number 10 on my list. Moving up to number 9 then we have Congo River Rapids. Now this is a River Rapids attraction located in the Katanga Canyon section of the park along with the Runaway Mine Train. Uh, now this is a very fun family attraction uh, and one of the few uh, water rides in the park. Obviously the flume uh, closed a few years back to make way for Wicker Man uh, and the only other really water attractions in the park are in the night garden boat ride in CBB's Land which you don't get wet on at all and Battle Galleons which uh, is, a, is an attraction where you travel around on a boat and the aim is to hit the other boats with your water cannons. Uh, so aside from that there isn't really very many water attractions at the park. So it's great to see a ride like Congo River Rapids uh, be there. Uh, and I think that's why it's deserving of the number nine spot. Moving up to number eight, then we of course have Spimble Whizzer. Now this is a Maura spinning coaster located in the Adventureland uh, section of the park in between CBeebies Land and X Sector. Now just like Congo River Rapids, this is a really fun family frill attraction. Uh, you go spinning around the track there aren't any inversions, but I mean, you don't really often see inversions on a spinning coaster, uh, let alone on a family spinning coaster. Uh, now, the only reason it's not any higher is generally because it's not up there with some of the other coasters, such as Oblivion, 13 and Wicker Man. Uh, it's not up there for me with those other coasters, which is why it's down here at number eight on this list. A quick tip for you guys, if you are ever at the park and you want to experience Spimble Wizard, just be wary of its queue, as it is not a very high throughput attraction, meaning it can't get very many guests uh, on it within an hour compared to other attractions, uh, and so the queue line is more likely to be higher than it would be uh, for something like 13, which has nice long trains. So just bear that in mind if you're going to the park, if you want to experience Spimble Wizard, uh, then it's good to catch it when the queue is not too high. Moving on then to number seven, we of course have Galactica. Now this originally opened as air back in 2002 and it is located in the Forbidden Valley section of the park. Uh, obviously back in 2016, it was reefing to Galactica with virtual reality uh, added onto the ride. However, that has since been fully removed. Um, and I feel that it's a great B&M flying coaster. Obviously it was the first B&M flying coaster in the world. Uh, you've got some great elements on it and I really like having the station lower down uh, and then you can kind of emerge out into the world uh, ready to experience Galactica. Uh, I do think that the theming now for Galactica ever since the VR has removed has become completely pointless 
uh, and it should just uh, be reverted back to air, in my opinion, uh, because the only main difference now is you have the massive blue portal, which is just a bit weird uh, now without the virtual reality. However, I still do think that it is a great coaster at Alton Towers. Moving on up then to number six, we have our highest non-coaster attraction on this list. That, of course, being Jewel, the Haunted House Strikes Back, located in the Gloomy Woods section of the park. Now, this is a great family dark ride uh, that incorporates some laser guns as well, which provide great competition uh, if you're riding with other people. Uh, now, this attraction could definitely do with some updates here and there in terms of uh, sound, lighting, scenery. It could do with a general refurbishment. However, for what it is, I think it is a brilliant attraction. The queue line at the beginning is really well themed with the lopsided floor and some things like you have a hand in a jar that closes every now and then. Just, just some brilliant elements uh, throughout the whole ride. Uh, and it's just a really nice attraction that definitely deserves a refurbishment at some point, which is why it is up here at number six. Moving on then to number five, we have the Smiler. Now the Smiler holds the world record for the most inversions on any roller coaster in the world, that being 14 inversions in total, and it's a Gerschlauer Infinity Coaster. Uh, now, this is a brilliant coaster. I'm not going to knock it for any reason. It doesn't deserve to be knocked. I think it's a very fun, intense coaster uh, with some great elements. Now, one of my favourite elements is as you begin the ride, uh, there is a hidden inversion inside the building that you do just before you go out to the first lift hill. Uh, and I think that's a great way just to give you a little tease of what's to come. Uh, so that's really cool to see. Uh, the reason it's not higher up on this list, I generally think uh, that some of the other attractions, such as 13 and Wicker Man, uh, have better theming. Uh, and also, I just generally prefer the other attractions uh, still to come on this list. However, there is no reason to knock it. The Smiler is still a solid coaster at number five. At number four then, we have the classic B&M inverted coaster, that of course being Nemesis, which opened in the Forbidden Valley area of the park back in 1994. Uh, now this is a classic coaster and one that I will always try and ride if I'm at Alton Towers. Now it has some brilliant elements on it, uh, including a zero G roll and a vertical loop. Uh, and the theming is really well done for this attraction. Obviously it's built into the pit, uh, so then it doesn't exceed the height limit that there is at Alton Towers. Uh, and then the main station in the center of the attraction uh, is themed around the Nemesis monster, uh, which is really cool to see. The track is designed to look like chains holding down uh, the Nemesis monster, trying to prevent it from escaping the pit. Uh, and it's just an all-round, really well-themed, really thrilling attraction uh, and a real classic at Alton Towers, which is why it's made it up to number four. Up to number three then we have Wicker Man. Now Wicker Man is a GCI wooden coaster uh, that replaced the flume and it opened back in 2018. Uh, now the main advantage for Wicker Man is its theming. Uh, you have a massive Wicker Man statue uh, in the centre of the attraction. Uh, which you pass through multiple times. There is a pre-show, the station is really well themed. There's just loads and loads and loads to talk about with this attraction. Uh, and the theming is one of the main reasons why it's so high up. It's not as thrilling as some of the other attractions in the park, obviously with it being a family coaster. However, it's definitely a great investment that the park made back in 2018 and a coaster that will hopefully stand the test of time at Olsen Towers. Moving up then to number two, we have 13, which is a Intamin Psycoaster located in the Dark Forest section of Alton Towers. Now this obviously opened back in 2010 and it included the world's first vertical drop um, on a coaster. Now this means that the train enters the drop section uh, and then it clips into this track and then it drops down uh, and then either heads straight out forward or backwards on a track that is below um, the uh, track that they've just dropped down from. Uh, and then obviously 13 drops down and heads out backwards into darkness uh, before you emerge and head back into the station. And it's really that element that puts it at number two uh, for me. Obviously it was the first coaster in the world to do this 
Uh, and even though uh, most of the outside is very much family-oriented coaster, I think it's that element that pushes it over the top and puts it at number two for me. Uh, also, the theming is really well done from the station to the attraction itself. Now that the trees have really grown in, it really does create a nice forest atmosphere uh, in there, creating quite a mysterious mood uh, when you're in the queue line for the attraction. Uh, and it's extremely well deserving of the second spot on this list. Now at number one, we have my favorite attraction at the Alton Towers Resort. That of course being Oblivion, the world's first B&M dive coaster. Uh, now, you may be thinking, oh, why have you put this up there? Surely uh, the likes of Nemesis or the Smiler should have been higher. Uh, well, personally, in my opinion, I really, really find this to be the most thrilling attraction at Alton Towers. Because uh, you hang there at the top of the uh, vertical drop after you come up the lift hill. Uh, and looking down into where you're about to be dropped. And then you hear as the track releases your car and you drop into the tunnel full of mist below you and then come out onto the bank turn on the other side. Uh, it really gets my heart pumping every time. I've been on it so many times, yet whenever I go on it, oh, I'm still really scared as you go over that top because it is a very frightening attraction. Uh, the theming has been lacking a bit um, and I feel like some theming elements have worn away and um, haven't really been updated or replaced. However, I do think it still stands as one of the best coasters at the park and my favourite coaster uh, at the park, in my opinion. So what are your thoughts then on my list? Do you agree or disagree with some of my picks? Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on these attractions in the comments down below. Uh, also, if you haven't done already, hit that subscribe button and click that notification icon so then you're always notified whenever we upload a new video. But with that all being said, thanks for watching. I've been your host Rory Gould and I hope to see you again soon on Theme Park Central. Bye for now. If you guys enjoyed this video and would like some more Theme Park Central content, click this video on my left, which is our latest video, and click this video on my right, which is a video that is specifically recommended for you. So click on those videos and give them a watch.